Newsflash, it's a hog milk cap invasion. Milk cap sightings are pouring in by the thousands. The cause is anyone's guess. The good. The bad. And the ugly show. Hello and welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Show. Now today we're looking at something that was a massive phenomenon phenomenon in the 90s and um, it was huge. It came along in the uh, kind of mid to late 90s. It was massive on the uh, playgrounds and um, for kids and you know that kind of thing and then suddenly it disappeared never to be seen or mentioned again. So basically I've managed to acquire a whole bunch of this stuff from a magical place called the internet. Uh, so today we're going to explore some of these things. The stuff that got banned from playgrounds and annoyed parents and, you know, took all our pocket money. So let's get into it. Let's have a look at the mystery that is Pog. <laughs> So the game of milk caps, as it is globally known and originally known. So it looks like it originated in Maui in Hawaii during the 1920s or 1930s, possibly with origins in Menko, a Japanese card game very similar to milk caps, which has been in existence since the 17th century. So some of these caps date back to the 1940s and 1950s. So, milk caps returned to popularity when the World Pog Federation and the Canada Games Company reintroduced them under the title Pog, the brand name Pog, in the 1990s. So, um, basically, uh, the, the Pogs, it came from a drink. So basically, Pog was a, um, I think it was a flavour, like, like the bottle caps of a Hawaiian drink, I believe, um, a kind of like, um, like a sort of milk bottle cap, a fruit, Hawaiian fruit juice. Uh, I think POG stands for um, Pineapple Orange Guava, I believe. Um, so yeah, basically kids would play them in playgrounds. Um, the idea is you stack a bunch of them up and then you throw down, you stack a bunch of the card ones up, um, picture facing downwards, and then you throw down the slammer on top of it. And the ones you knock over, you get to keep. Something like that anyway. So basically I was on the internet recently looking for stuff and I found this, which is the uh, official POG World Pog Federation game. It says 100% authentic. There you go. So unique and originally available in the game. Um, yeah, contains a set of collectors, a set of 100 Pog milk caps, a unique and only available in the game. So there we go. So there he is. Look, there's a Mr. Pogman himself. Um, this is a cool thing. So the game here apparently is incomplete, but um, that's not the entire reason I bought it. It was cheap. The thing that made me really buy this, I wasn't really interested in like a board game because like, you know, we used to buy them in packets and you'd get like, um, I don't know, four or five of the little card ones and you'd get like a plastic slammer as well. That was the idea. But um, yeah, obviously they went all out and made a whole like actual board game out of it. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't play it like this, to be honest. But uh, I might use it as a board to hit them down on, you know, because that could be kind of cool. So yeah, basically the reason I bought this is because not only, let's take these out, not only does this contain the game itself, which it has these pogs that are unique to the set. You also have um, a pog mat, so this is like a mat you can put them on. I don't really understand what the point of this is, but it's a cool thing anyway. And this kind of looks like a beer coaster, really. Um, but it'll do, won't it? Um, but yeah, it also came with a, um, a metal slammer. Now, metal slammers, there's, a, there's another bit of controversiality with these, which I'll go into in a bit when I show you something pretty cool. So this one came with the game. It's really light. It feels like a uh, chocolate coin. I think I'm going to peel it out. There might be some chocolate in there. No, there isn't. Um, but yeah, so the, the pogs that came with this game, We'll show you the first glimpse of what is a pog. There's Robo Pog right there. Isn't he cool? And um, there's another one there. And you get the idea, right? So on the back of these, it says Pog the Game. And I used to buy these at car boot sales and wonder like why they said the game on the back. But now I know. So yeah, the complete set is in here of the game pogs. But I mean, what this came with was a whole bunch of other different types of pog. Now, isn't that interesting? So let's start. So here we have the complete set of the original Pogs. So um, I want to go through a few of these today, I guess. So uh, yeah, so the backs, let's have a look. We've got a couple of um, couple of slammers in there as well. It's a shame that all the original slammers aren't here, but um, you know, I think I've got a pretty good deal anyway, so I'm not gonna push it. 
So uh, let's have a little look if I can just organise these. Pog's notorious for flying off in different directions. So here we go. So which one is this? So you go Pog number 20. That's what the back looked like in the original ones. Um, they were cool. You'd open up a packet and you'd get these and they sparkle. And things that sparkled in the 90s were just the best. That's what we were. We were all about things like that. Like sticker albums. We had like wrestling stickers and they had shinies. Um, you know, look at that. Isn't that cool? And a little character on there. He's pretty cool as well. That's Pog number 7. And he had these weird ones as well. They had things on them like tunes and... Um, Play Pog, see there's all kinds of different um, different cool bits of artwork there. Somewhere in this, I'm dropping Pogs. There's Pogs, I mean living, eating and breathing Pogs. There's a Rasta Pog, who is a, a particularly cool one, I think. And somewhere here, now, that's Pog number three. So, I know Pog number one is in here somewhere, and how exciting is that? But one of these, this might be Pog number one. Nope, that's Pog number two. You know, there you go. Pog 22. So yeah, we've got a smiley face here, that's very of the times as well, um, the dinosaur. I'm surprised there aren't any like Pog smoking spliffs, but I guess the parents might kick off at something like that. But um, yeah, here's Pog number one. I mean, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on some, some music. Exactly, you see what I mean? So um, yeah, yeah, a very special Pog, Pog number one, because... Um, it's number one, isn't it? Um, this one's a skeleton. There's there's more. There's some bland ones. There's some really cool ones. That's the idea. It's a mixed bag, right? You know, you know how it goes. Um, what I'm trying to find you though to show you. I mean, I might edit this out. I might I might get a bit boring, but I'll probably just keep it all in because I, I can't be asked to edit. Um, right here we go. So let's have a look. So what have we got here? This one says um, Keenies. Uh, Keenies. I don't really know what that means. There must be another Hawaiian thing. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't like to um, speculate really. Um, or accumulate. So uh, here are. Let's go through these. Here it is. Here it is. This was the pog that I thought was one of the coolest of the original lot. This is Jurassic Pog, and you see what they've done there. They've gone like Jurassic Park because they've got the logo here, but it's obviously like a cool pog thing. Big deal. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. This one here simply says "Play Pog," which is you know what you want to do, right? It's what I want to do right now. And this one here, um, I think this was like the, this is the last one, the original lot, number seventy. Limited edition, so this made you feel like you were getting something special. You probably weren't really. I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know anything about how rare some of these pogs are compared to like other ones. I mean, I don't think I don't think they're like Pokemon cards, but some of them are like worth hundreds of pounds. Other ones are worth nothing. I don't really know. But here's a cool slammer, anyway. So there we go. So I'll, I'll give you a, a brief, like, a brief glimpse here of what you do. So you put them that way up in the pile. You hit them with the slammer. You throw the slammer down, and it will hit them, disrupt them, and they fall over. And then they, so if they land this way up, you get to keep this. You see, that's how it works. Simpler times, right? A simple game, really. To simple people. Um, and here we have, um, yeah, duck, duck cruncher. That's very 90s, isn't it? I have no idea. I don't think I even had this one at the time. But also, the slammers have numbers, so I'm guessing there's like probably like 70 of these to collect or something. I don't know. I feel like that would take up more space. Maybe. Okay, so where do we go next? So there was then season two, and there was season three, and they went on and on and on and on and on. So um, what we'll do though, to, to save all that stuff, well, we haven't really got them anyway. So let's go for these. These are like Pog World Tour. So these weren't like season two, three, or whatever. These just came out at some points. I don't really know much about them, but these are the backs of them, so, um, oh no, there's two different sets in here. So yeah, there's these, I think these might be actually series two, okay? So um, they had a bit more, um, bit more cool, you know, there's a pog with a cake. And uh, yeah, I've kind of mixed these up a little bit, because there's not many of them in here. Okay, I've got like, a huge amount of different pogs in the box. I might not have specified that earlier. This game came with all these different pogs, and I've kind of organised them into bags. Kind of. Um, here's Pog World Tour, so I don't really know much about that, but... Uh, I'm guessing different countries, different like ideas, um, different like races. I don't know. There's a pog on the moon there, like the MTV thing. There's there's one there. Look, there's a pe pog eating pizza, the Italian flag. I'm not sure if that's offensive or not. Um, tell me in the comments. There's a pog with some cupcakes. Um, there's a Halloween pog. That's pretty cool. They made a whole set of horror themed pogs actually, which I really would like to get hold of. But not that pog. Um, here's a, uh, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. Um, right, so here is some weird things. These are actually official pogs, but they're space pre-saint pogs. I mean, 
Space Precinct? They're very pretty, aren't they? Uh, yeah, so if you don't know about Space Precinct, it was a series by Jerry Anderson that came about in the 90s, and it's basically Space Prison. The Space Police. I'm sure there was a uh, South Park episode about the Space Police. I don't know. But um, yeah, basically they arrest aliens that are doing bad things. Kind of like a Star Trek thing, but these guys are like, we're going to nick you. You're nicked, sonny! That's what they said. Um, and they nicked guys like that, who are up to no good. This guy was selling drugs to kid. No, he wasn't really. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen the series much. I watched it a bit as a kid. I know there were toys. I had a few toys. Um, this is the same Jerry Anderson that made Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet, and Stingray, and then later stuff like Space 1999 and UFO. So I don't know why they're specifically pogs for Space 1999. Maybe they came, these were just at the same time as it was big. I don't really remember Space Precinct ever being that big, but I don't know, man. Once again, tell me in the comments if you know more about that. So then, we got, what have we got here? These ones, I don't know much about. I do remember the backs of them though, because you know, I had all these as a kid. Um, these are limited edition pogs. I don't know what that means, and why they're limited edition. I do not know, because they didn't make many of them. Right, so Robo, Robo Pog is in there, which is pretty damn cool. If, if you know, you know. Um, pog on a rocket, that's a cool one as well, as a pog of a camera. How many different ideas can you get for pogs? How many? How many different cartoons can you create? But I guess how many paintings can be made? I guess you, you can just make infinite amounts of this stuff. But, it says 1996 on here, but, you know, it, it, it looks like a thing that probably wouldn't last all that long, right? I mean, they, they went on, they went on, they went on for a few years. I think that the time of running for Pogs was like 1996 to about 2000. I don't know, I could be wrong with those numbers. But for me, that's what seemed to be the case. So let's have a look at these. Um, we've got in here. So these are all like nice sticky bags I found. Um, you don't really need to know that though, do you? Uh, so here we go. Let's have a look at these. Now these are Pogs that came in Weetabix. Chex Pogs Series 2. Um, do we have Chex Pogs? We do. We're doing this wrong. Okay, let's start again here. So let's open these first. How do I open these? Nice rustling. If you're listening with headphones, that's for you. Um, okay, so yeah, Weetabix did Chex Pogs. Um, I don't know why. They, they, they came in Weetabix. Cereal comes with toys and stuff. Or it used to anyway. I don't know if it still does. But here we go. There's, a, there's an eyeball with wings. That's my kind of thing. And there's like a, a very original looking pog here. And um, some of these pogs were actually just used from the original set. Like they're no different to the, the original ones. But um, they're, they're put in Weetabix. I don't know. That one's slightly different to the other limited edition one. Don't really get it. But um, yeah, so you buy your Weetabix, you can get Pog, which is pretty cool. And um, But I think by this point, they started to become a little bit samey, really. The actual Pogs themselves. People started to look elsewhere. Well, actually, they were just being duped. Duped by fakes and fakery. Let's have a look. So here we go. So here we go. Here is um, Weetabix Pogs Series 2. So it obviously went on a while. There's a Pog ballet dancing, there's a uh, another Pog, and look, there's a Pog playing Pogs. What more could you possibly want in life? Pog man, authentic Pog man, I don't know. So many Pogs, so many Pogs. That one's blown his, 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 his fur off, look. Isn't that terrible? I like that, though. It's got his bum out, look. It's censored, though you can still see his bum. So what, what are they censoring? I don't know. I don't want to think about it too much. There's milk like the old milk bottle caps, but they weren't actually milk bottles. They were like milk bottles filled with like orange juice and guava juice and, and tropical berry juice and stuff. I don't know. I've never had the Pog drink. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'll try and find some pictures of it so you can have a look. Judge yourself. No, no, don't judge yourself. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? Um, right, so what have we got next? We have got uh, miscellaneous Pogs. That's got to be the most exciting of all, right? So, what do we got here? So I put a picture of a pog on the screen and there's nothing going on. Maybe I'll do that. That might be like a cool idea. So, um, here we go. So we've got, um, yeah, what are these called? Uh, Rax, Rax caps? I don't know, but, ah, look at that, Rasta man. Why? He's not got Rasta hair, he's got, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Somebody tell me. Remember, speak softly and carry a big stick. 
Good advice. That's the advice I tell my children. These ones have got like little, little dips in them for your finger, I guess. I don't know. But why would they have that? Because you don't throw them, you throw the slammers. That contradicts the entire idea of Pog. Wake me... Oh, wake up, man. There's a fucking scary clown. So that's a good, good idea to wake up. Yeah, probably. Polly want a slammer. Yes. That's like the lamest Pog I've ever seen, I think. Uh, but I kind of like it. Ouch. Yep. Ouch. He's got a uh, he's got a thing in his head. No bloody wonder. Um, what else have we got here? Milk. Yeah, because why not? It's a trippy one. That reminds me of uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The, the dog's got a person head. And that's pretty scary as well. It's a baby with a cow head. Yeah, these just get... What are these? So these are Duncan Caps. Hang on. Camera. Duncan Caps. And they are trippy AF, man. Look at that. Look at that. Power Ranger ones. <laughs> the fat bloke from Power Rangers. Um, yeah, okay. Why not? Why not? Um, what have we got here? Uh, laser caps. Ooh, laser caps. They sound futuristic and spacey. And they look pretty cool, actually. They're like, it's, no, it's like another shiny. And it's, uh, it's a sort of totem thing going on. I like it. I like it. Um, Spawn as well. Like, obviously, people remember Spawn. Yeah, I don't remember. Obviously, this is Spawn the comic. The original spawn. Um, Ratfink. Ratfink series 2. Look at that. That's got some, that's some cool artwork, isn't it? That's very 90s. Very 90s. And this... Oh! X-Men. Wolverine. If you're going to have any X-Men pog, obviously you want Wolverine, don't you? I mean, why the hell not? I'm going to move to a different screen. You know, give you something to look at while I'm going through them. So um, next we come on to um, whatever this is. This says uh, 1994 um, spelling E and T. I don't know what that means. What's that? Who are these people? Somebody in the comments, let me know who they are, and uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. And um, we've got this uh, poison. Poison. That's another one of those. This one is uh, oh, it's a Betty Boot. Betty Boo Pog, I don't remember them. I don't know why that exists. Um, what have we got here? Watch for limited edition slammers. Official slammer whammers. So slammer whammers, I do remember. I mean, I don't know if these are. Uh, you could even say they were knockoffs or not, or they were just existed at the same time. Pog seemed to take the market. Like this is market is ours. We are Pog. We own this idea. But I think the idea, as I say, has been going along since like the 30s and 20s. So I think anyone can make Pogs if they want. I don't think. I don't think you can, you can say. I mean, okay, you got authentic Pogs, but you can't really put like a a market down on the whole idea, because it is an idea. That made no sense, probably. It, it made sense in my head. I don't know if it made sense coming across. I don't know. Anyway, here are some, um, like, Merlin Premier League 1995 football pogs, which mean nothing to me. And obviously the owner of these pogs felt the same, because if you look, they've drawn glasses on that one. They've drawn glasses and a moustache and kind of Frankenstein this guy up. You've got Darren uh, Anderton and uh, Darren... Are they called Darren? No, no. This guy's called Paul. And look, they've done stuff to him as well. And, uh, yep, they've written cool on David Seaman's head. I remember David Seaman because, like, I used to think that was funny when football would come on and the commentator would shout, like, Seaman's all over the ball. And everyone would go, ooh. Um, but, yeah child childish childish really but someone didn't like him because they put an arrow through his neck and wrote cool on his forehead I don't know why um they left him alone though Ray Par Parler Ray Parler um yeah he got the treatment see what I mean I mean someone didn't like these as much as I probably wouldn't have liked them and um the slam is pretty cool though because the slam is just the trademark again the old Merlin Merlin magic caps that's what they're called Merlin magic caps and they did football I mean does that make any sense to anyone doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I would have thought that, Mer that, that you know Merlin magic caps would make like wizards and sorcerers and stuff. I reckon these days they would do Harry Potter pogs. I think I'm giving them ideas. If you're watching Merlin, guys, there's something to work with. Um, okay, and here we move on now to the uh, made in the famous made in Taiwan pogs. Uh, these don't have that on the back, but they are very much the same kind of ilk. I had a load of them, it just said Made in Taiwan on them, and they're very similar to these. So basically what these are, I think, are homemade pogs. That, some of these are anyway. Oh no, no, maybe not, they're just bootleg pogs. Nothing on the back, but they have numbers on them. You could buy a pog-making machine 
That's pretty cool. You could buy a pog making machine and make your own pogs, and people started doing that. And you get pogs of everything. I mean, you could even take like um, you could take all kinds of inappropriate stuff. You could get like politicians and put them on pogs. You could even get porn, you know, porn mags and put them on pogs. Then you could mix them up with the politician. That's an idea. What am I doing? I'm wasting my time here. Um, okay, so um, yeah, we got uh, um, a skull thing here. What does it say on it? I don't know, but it's damn weird. Lots of people look like genies and stuff. Um, what does that say on the back? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Exactly what I'm talking about. Made in Taiwan. But look at it. It's actually damn cool. These are like lizards. This is Dime. Um. Dime Troden? Dime Troden? What the hell does it mean? What is it? I don't know. I think some of these things come from another dimension, personally. Like, um, the yin and yang, but they haven't put the black pit on, so... <laughs> it's not a yin and yang, it's... Uh, it's, a, it's a yin and some... Oh, it's just a yang. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this thing here? British... What the freaking hell? Why? Why is the word? Um, but yeah, that's so cool, man. Look at that. Uh, do you really want to live your life without having this in it? I don't know. I don't. There's also skulls, and there's like uh, there's a bug on this one, which is also pretty cool. There's a monster here. I mean, they're just damn cool, I think. I mean, I don't know what more we can say about them, really. Some pogs I really do want. This one's another yin and yang, but they put both the eyes in, so that's good. Um, and a pog that I, pog collection I really want is they brought out universal monster pogs, and the slammers were like 3D with the um, Wolfman's head or Frankenstein's head, and they looked absolutely amazing. I had a bunch of those as a, when I was a kid, and I did what kids do, and I like lost them all somewhere. I don't know. I feel bad about that because I can't seem to get hold of those ones. They're really like expensive, like people know. So here we go. We move on to the notorious. Notorious Chopper Caps. Now, Chopper Champ or Chopper Chump or Chopper Champ Chump. Um, they were a make of lollipop. They still are, I think. You can buy the little lollipops in shops. You always see them everywhere you go. But they started making pogs. Well, they got onto the whole like bandwagon here because I don't know why really, but they did it anyway. Um, let's have a look. These are really quite disturbing. Yeah, Chopper Chups. That's what they're called. Look at that. He's got a lollipop. He looks like he just. He doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on, does he? Here he goes, a skateboarder dude. Um, there's a uh, scary looking green guy. This guy with the flame. Um, some of these, uh, if I can get this right, if I can um, look at that. They like they like the hologrammatic things, like, you know, they change. How cool is that? There's an eyeball here that changes into a, like a another eyeball, but it's weird, isn't it? Um, that thing, I don't know. This guy, these are. So yeah, this this confuses me. Um, I wonder. Abro <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean it's great, it's fantastic, but I wonder what parents got freaked out when they found this in their kid's toy box and they thought, well, hang on a minute, what? I mean, if you're deeply religious parents, like like proper like born again Christians or Catholics or whatever, and they get their kid playing with this, they're going to freak out. And I think Chupa Chups knew they were going to freak out, and they did this just to fuck with the parents. And I can respect that 100%. Um, so uh, yeah, freaky, freaky. Cause it's only a bloody toy, isn't it? Come on now, come on now. But it is weird. Um, yeah, then you got these guys here. There's some super fly in it. Um, but yeah, that that last that last one did throw me though. I thought it was amazing. Um, a weird Venus flytrap thing again. It's another. I don't know how well that's coming across. Actually, quite well. But look at that stuff of nightmares. Um, these were great. What is that in his mouth? It's a lollipop. Don't get any silly ideas. Um, yeah, but the thing with these that made them notorious is that um, they had thought it would be a grid. A grid. They thought it'd be a good idea to bring out metal slammers. This is before anyone else was doing it. So chop a chap, metal slammer of a kind of ridged. It's a flower, but it could really hurt your knuckles or your hands. And so yeah, kids did just kind of resort to just throwing these at each other really hard. So these were banned from the playgrounds when I was a kid because they were just lethal. It's just dangerous, man. Like, why would you give them these? And also, they're the best ones because like you um. Let's have a go, actually. Let's have a go. Let's see how good it is. Let's hit down and see what we get. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Let's try it again. Um, I don't want to send them flying everywhere. No, I suck at pogs. But um, I think everyone sucks at pogs. That's, that's the whole idea. Cause you don't really want all your pogs going to other kids, do you? You know, you want you want to keep them really. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I'd feel a bit more free and easy doing this on the floor. But you know. 
go and buy pogs and do it yourself, I reckon. That's the answer. So, shall we have a little look at some of these ones that came in the box before we uh, end this video? I hope you've seen all we need to see. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you can go online and look at these, really. Um, you can see pictures of them. Look at that, look. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Very odd, very odd. But I just thought I'd share with you today uh, the whole Pog thing. I mean, you can you can get quite obsessed with this, really. You go on um, you go on the internet and you you will find yourself buying them because you like to look at them. And they're they're not that expensive at this exact point. Uh, they will get more expensive because they're coming becoming more of a kind of a kids' toy from the past. Like He-Man figures, you look for He-Man figures now, and they're like. They could be up to like 200, 300 quid, and that's insane. I used to buy them for 20p from car boot sales and charity shops. You know, Pogs, these will be like tomorrow's like ridiculously high priced antique kids' toys. I don't know. I've got one last thing to show you before we end this though. So, so along with the many different kinds of Pogs that you could get um, the Chupa Chups, the, uh, the actual proper Pog, and all the different types. There were a thing that came out a little bit later, actually no, around the same time to be fair, 1996, there was a, a competing thing called a Tazo, and now Tazos were generally available in bags of crisps, that was the idea, and they originated with um, pictures of like Tasmanian Devil and lots of Looney Tune stuff, I think there were Space Jam Tazos, I bet a lot of geeks would be wanting those, because people love Space Jam these days, I don't really. Oh no, I shouldn't say that on the internet. I love Space Jam. Um, so uh, yeah, basically they started doing Star Wars Tazos, and this was during the time the special edition was about to come out. Wasn't that exciting? Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Here it is. I found it in a charity shop a while back. Here is the complete collector's Tazo Walker's Crisp Star Wars special edition pack. You had to send off for this folder after you collected them all in bags of crisps. So you would have to eat hundreds of bags of Walker's Crisps and then, um, yeah, then, 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 like, send off for this. The whole thing seems really redundant now. But at the time, it was, uh, it was very cool. It was very cool. So we're gonna have a little look in here. So, um, I'm gonna try and move back in here, try and get this, get this in. So, uh, yeah, you go inside, it's like a profile on the different characters, and, uh, you open up, it's got Velcro on it. And here you go, so, um, there you go, that's what they look like, and they fit into these. So, when you buy them in bags of crisps, you basically you're getting these right so I'll get two out just to show you um, the general gist of it so yeah this is kind of what Tazos looked like they had little ridge bits and the idea was I believe that you um, stick them together and you stick a whole load of them together and you can make some weird quick big kind of mutant Tazo I don't really understand it because it's not Pogs and it's not the same game um, it's like taking that and then do then run, running taking it and running off of it in a creative different kind of way, um, which is alright, you know, why not, why not? Some people actually like Tazos better, and I think they're like, the, obviously the people who collected them. I, mean, I mean, just, just, just didn't need to say that. Um, so here we go, here's all the pictures, they click into the picture look and they complete the picture, and, uh, and you've got like, these still smell like Doritos, that's so weird, maybe they don't, maybe this doesn't smell like Doritos, but I'm just getting that. I ate so many Doritos, so I'm gonna collect these bloody things. But now, the idea, even talking about them, just, just brings in the smell of, like, the orange Doritos. How weird. So, um, yeah, yeah, you go through here, and uh, you go through different Star Wars films. So that's a new hope. You move on to Empire Strikes Back, and you've got them all in here. I don't know. I remember getting, like, certain ones, like this one. Like, having, like, about 30 of these, and just despairing. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe I threw them at someone I didn't like. Um, that one I liked because I like the carbonite, Han Solo carbonite. That's my, my, that's my favourite thing from Star Wars in general, I think, is the Han Solo carbonite. I don't know why. It just kind of resonated with me as a kid. And I saw Empire Strikes Back first. Just kind of, like, confused the hell out of me. Uh, my favourite Star Wars film now is actually Star Wars, the first one, because I think that was like a, just a groundbreaking movie that did stuff that was a kind of template for lots of other movies and just brilliant but um, I think out of the three most people like The Empire Strikes Back it is great it is fantastic um, just Return of the Jedi uh, not, not diminishing returns at all um, no it's alright it's more of a kids movie it feels like more of a kids movie weirdly but it has got that dark bit with Luke Skywalker and the Emperor and I love the Jabba the Hutt bit so um, I'm giving you a, a review of Star Wars while I'm doing this which is great just what you wanted on a pod video. Um, so here is more the more Return of the Jedi. Here we go and uh, yeah, that, that one looks kind of cool. The Millennium Falcon on it. And then what you had here, right? That's all the films done. It moves into the special edition. 
So these pogs confused us because we hadn't seen the special edition yet because they hadn't come out yet. But we've got things like this, which obviously was in the special edition. We're like, ooh, that looks pretty good. I don't remember that. The Wampa. Oh, yeah, I don't remember seeing that much of him. Yeah, it goes on. That confused the shit out of me as a kid. I'm like, who's this fucking guy? Because <laughs> you don't get a Han Solo in the, in the pog itself. Like, oh, sorry. In the Tazo itself, you don't get a Han Solo. So you get this guy and it, it looks like Jabba the Heart, but it doesn't. So that, I thought, okay, okay, I see what's going on here. That, let's not talk about that. Um, yeah, these, I don't know why they're in the special bit, I do not know. But uh, yeah, you also got all this as well, you've got like, the Rancor, I don't know, did they do anything digital with the Rancor? I don't remember them doing so, but maybe. Princess Slayer, the best look she had through all the Star Wars films, I think most, most guys would agree with that. And uh, yeah, the special, the special one that goes in the special trilogy. Dear, dear. I mean, the amount of hype that was built up about this special edition Star Wars. We all got so excited. We all went to, we, we all went to the cinema to see them. And we even convinced ourselves for the first five or six years that they were great. And then we realised the errors of our way. I don't know. I don't know. Shoot me now. I don't know. Um, so, uh, you get trivia in here. So, um, who was the creator of the Star Wars trilogy? It's a tough one, that. I don't know. I don't know. Was it was it Spielberg? Don't know. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of questions here, and the answers are all down the spine here. It's just fun, interactive fun, and you get this like special card, collector's force pack card. Why? I don't know. I don't know why this was. Maybe you got this um, in the crisps as well, and you had to send this away to get the pack. I don't know how it worked. I can't remember. But um, yeah, it's a file of facts of Tazos that are Star Wars flavored. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? It's well worth uh, £5,000 on eBay, I think. Anyway, so I guess this brings us to the end of the uh, the little Pog video here. So I'm going to put some pictures of Pogs on the screen. Maybe I'll do it throughout. I don't know. I just thought I'd make a Pog video today because I've got loads of Pogs and, um, you know, boredom and stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the Pog video. And, um, yeah, tune in next time when we talk about something completely different. Please like share and subscribe to the good the bad and the ugly show because there's no room left in here